All right, today I am gonna do a test on using uh, my generator on natural gas to charge my Tesla to see approximately what that costs in natural gas from your house as another option. Um, I've lost power for five days in the last uh, PG&E shut off and it was a hassle to keep going back and fill up the gas. So I just recently hooked it up to my house is natural gas conversion kit, which I have a different video on. Um, and I wanna do a test today to see what this actually costs to run and charge um, at 30 amps to my Tesla. So I've got it all hooked up. I'm gonna fire it up. And this factory, this is a factory uh, cord uh, that came with it. It's a standard L14 by 30. Over here, um, I got these two little conversions from the L14 to go to the bigger plug that you have on your kit. Um, I'll send a, I'll put the link down below, but actually this one was only 20 bucks, but it does not work. There's something in the wiring that caused it still to be red. So this little guy has been working really well. That in there, and we have power now. So let's give it a shot. And let's see what we're getting on the charging. I'm going to go ahead right now. I've got only 29 miles, so let's start charging. Uh, I'm gonna pull it back a little bit on the amps and see what we get here. Um, and there we go, it's starting to climb. I can hear the generator bog down. Um, it's rated for 30 amps. And I'm gonna run this for about an hour or two and then see what it costs. Um, I got a picture of my gas meter before and after and uh, I'm gonna see what it costs looking at my bill to run this thing for an hour or two and I'll be back all right so after two hours I ended up getting to 60 miles uh, a couple things I learned on natural gas you can't run the generator all the way at 30 amps um, it, it needs to go down to about 20 amps um, to keep it going from dying so um, I was still getting about 17 18 miles per hour charging um, and some math I got, uh, this was my gas meter. I ended up using about 1.8 cubic feet. Um, my bill, I averaged about $1.84 per cubic foot. They also convert it to therms, but I'm keeping it simple. So I don't have to convert it back and forth. So that two hours cost me $3 and 31 cents. Um, I got about 31 miles. Um, so it's about 10.67 cents per mile to charge on natural gas. Um, definitely not the cheapest option, but um, it's an option if you had no other way to get to a supercharger um, and had no power. And definitely much faster than a 110 outlet or 110 generator. Um, so yeah, it's a 220 natural gas, ran about 20 amps, um, and not too bad. So maybe I'll do some tweaking and see if I can improve that. But um, yeah, not bad at all. Thanks.